Hi, I'm Pat Cerrone, the defensive coordinator and head coach at the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, and I want to thank Coach's Choice for giving me this opportunity to talk to you today about uh, our basic principles in our defense. I just want to let everybody know that uh, I have a linebackers coach on our defense, a defensive line coach, a secondary coach. My job in our package is to coach the triangle. I coach the strong safeties, free safeties, will linebackers. I don't know of many programs that have a triangle coach, but we spend a lot of time on it, and we coach them just like any other position. Uh, every defense has a force player. I don't care if you're a 5-2 guy, a 3-4, 3-5. Every defense has a force player, an alley runner, and a boot counter reverse or fold player. You know, when, in these, uh, when you do these speaking engagements, they kind of label you. These drills can apply to any defense. The things you're going to hear me say today apply to any defense that is out there in America. I think the triangle, the reason I coach it, is the least coach position on a team. You always have individual time for linebackers. You have individual time for the defensive line. You have individual time for your secondary, but you rarely spend the time coaching your force players, how, what technique to use, your alley runners, how to leverage a ball carrier, or your will linebackers, how to fold. These positions are literally interchangeable based off of motion adjustments. Within our system, the drills I'm going to show you is a progression of drills, sometimes practical for the lesser athlete. Uh, I've heard that said to me many times where uh, coaches have told me we don't need to do this because we have good players. In our system, the way we teach it, it's very important that our players do the right thing and the right thing all the time. Our shoulders need to be square. Our hips need to be square. There is a series of progression of drills that we do, which I'm going to show you today. And it's really based off of building a defensive system. Every defense we run, 3-4, 3-5, we run it all, even though this is a 4-2-5 presentation, these concepts are the base core of our defense. Our belief in our defensive system is that we always have, against two backs in the backfield, two 45-degree angle players. Whether it's a corner, a free safety, strong safety, will linebacker, it doesn't matter. The core of our defense is to turn the ball inside as quickly as possible. Now, that is a change from many defensive philosophies of spilling the ball. I'm a believer in 45-degree angle players. That's why we do what we do. Anytime we see a two-back set, we have two 45-degree angle players. The beginning concept of this drill progression is to teach these three players, which we call the triangle, exactly how they fit in two-back run game. As the drill tape goes on, we will add linebackers and we will add the corners into the drill progression. Drills we do with everyone back here are called perimeter drills, whether they're run support, teaching primary and secondary run support, boot drills, quarterback sprint out drills. They work into our coverage as well as our run defense. We're going to quickly show you a, a common play in football, which would be a toss play. Okay, We get a fast step outside, full flow by the tailback, in our defense, the concept would be our strong safety is what we call the force player. He is going to turn the ball inside. and There are certain techniques we like our people to use. Our free safety is what we call our alley runner. That is the gap just inside the force. The backside, the player away from the play, every defense has it we call the BCR. That is translated as boot counter reverse. The technique the BCR uses 
is the fold technique. Whether it's a shuffle fold, this gentleman is going to take two uh, 45 degree angle steps until the ball crosses the line of scrimmage, he will not track on his angle of pursuit. So let's get into the drill tape. Let's talk about the triangle. Let's teach you how to coach these guys. And then let's add some linebackers and corners after we're done. The stance we use for our 45 degree angle players, which would be our will linebacker position or our strong safety position, is if the ball is inside, our inside foot is up, outside foot is back. We try to maintain a square hip, square shoulder position as much as possible. The first drill we're going to talk about today is our 45-4 shuffle drill. Any beginner, youth, high school athlete needs to learn how to shuffle keeping his hips and shoulders square. The technique we use is a shuffle step. Notice when this athlete is ready to make contact, being a force player, his outside foot is back, shoulder is back, allowing his outside half of the body to remain free from contact so if the ball carrier would bounce, he's able to get off and make a play. Shuffle force, that's a pretty good position right there. All our players, corners, strong safeties, free safeties, because we do invert our coverage, and will linebackers will utilize this shuffle technique. The next progression of the drill as your players advance is called the sprint shuffle. We begin by teaching the shuffle technique now to get our players to react quicker. They're, they're going to sprint and then get in the shuffle position. Sprint, get to the shuffle prior to contact, squares their shoulders, squares their hips, keeps the outside of their body free. Remember, they'll be dealing with fullbacks, 200 plus pounds, guards, 250 plus, and these guys are between 160 to 200 pounds. We want to make sure we're in a good locked position, keeping the outside of the body free. Sprint shuffle. This is a corner, working his technique. Sprint, shuffle, nice and low, knees bent, sprint, shuffle. The belief in 45 degree angle players is essential in our defensive package. Now what we do is set up the barrels, okay? Two lines, a group of guys here, a group of guys on this side. We have simulated two tight ends. We're going to down block, just step down, getting our read from the last man on the line of scrimmage. And we have a simulated fullback or guard coming out to replace the feet of the tight end and work on our sprint shuffle technique, our force drill. Excellent job here. I don't like the fact that his outside foot is coming in front of his inside foot. We need to be a little bit more under control. Down block by the tight end, sprint, come under control, deliver the blow. Notice the outside of his body is free. If the back would bounce, we're in great position. Again, shoulders, hips square, very practical. It allows us to take average athletes and make them good and make them productive. Excellent job here at keeping the outside of his body free, forcing the ball. Now his job is to restrict the alley, 
Base block, getting based out, he is going to squeeze the alley, squeeze that down as much as possible. The next progression of the drill, we went from the shuffle to the sprint shuffle to the force drill. Now in our force package, we add the alley fit. The gap that is right inside our force player, we call the alley. We add the free safety, corner strong safety to the drill. We're going to use the down block again by the tight, simulate down block by the tight end, force it, and we'll teach our alley players how to run the alley and come to base. Force, run in the alley. Again, teaching our alley players to find the inside gap of the force. Progression. Down block, force, squeeze, alley. Notice him coming to base, dropping the hands, getting the hips low, tracking the ball. Our force players maintain inside leverage on the ball. We teach them to work downhill and to the outside. Another drill we use in the progression is a crack replace drill. We add our corners to the mix. Once a crack block takes place, our corners become primary force. We put a pad on the receiver. We will crack, working on our crack call. Our corner will replace. We have a rule. Once you're cracked, you stay cracked. Because we have our alley player coming over the top. We don't want this guy to fight pressure. Once you're cracked, you stay cracked. Crack, replace, drill. Corner is yelling crack, crack, crack. The receiver cracks, stay cracked. Corner becomes primary force. This in, in this simulation, this is a ball carrier. We are wrapping him up. Not necessarily a blocker. So we use a ball carrier simulation, wrap up on the pad. Sometimes with motion or without, simulate with motion, crack, 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 crack block, replace, wrap up on the ball carrier. So our overhangs, 45 degree angle players getting cracked, corners become primary force defenders. Crack, stay cracked, replace, wrap up, head on the outside. Our motion adjust drill with our triangle. We have a situation here where we have a tight end and a Z receiver. The free safety becomes the alley defender in this formation. Once the motion takes place, the corner will replace the free safety as the alley player. For us, the call is a gator. So what we're working here is our gator call. The Z receiver will go in cross motion. The corner will rep replace the free safety. He will call gator, which will now dictate him as being the alley runner and then we will go back to running our motion adjust force alley gator call is made corner now becomes the force player reading off the tight end and he's working the alley fit corner gets motion becomes the alley runner working the alley off the force We do play situations where we're corners over, but sometimes we don't. And our corners, our free safeties, our strong safeties need to learn to run the alley. In this drill, this is our perimeter from our base 4-2 set from the triangle position working motion. This is called our motion perimeter motion drill. In this case, we have a corner, strong safety, Free safety, corner, our will linebackers are adjuster to the twins with motion, 
Okay, here it looks. We have two 45 degree angle players and an alley runner. With motion, we are going to invert our free safety. So in essence, from twins to pro, our free safety becomes the force player, our strong safety becomes the alley player, and our will linebacker remains in his full position. So from twins to pro, we have an invert situation occurring, but the triangle is always set. Anytime there are two backs in the backfield, our triangle is set. In this clip, perimeter motion, they're going from a pro formation, tight end, Z receiver. When the Z receiver crosses, this corner now is going to become the alley player. He is gaitered. He has learned this technique. Now our free safety adjusts coverage. Notice from pro, we, we maintain the integrity of the defense, maintain the integrity of the triangle. We have two 45 degree angle players versus two back and an alley runner. We reload. We're going from twins now. You notice our will linebacker free safety corner. There's our triangle being set. They're going from twins to pro. As they motion across, the strong safety inverts the free. And again, the integrity of the defense remains. Two 45 degree angle players. Now our strong safety is the alley runner. That's why it's crucial to coach the triangle and to get everyone involved because of motion. With a tight end trade in our system, our strong safety is lined up to the pro set. Once the trade occurs, the only player that has to move is the free safety. He will adjust to the other side of the alley. The will now becomes the strong safety. The strong safety becomes the will. All motion adjust is taken care of with this perimeter motion drill. From pro back to twins, corner becomes gaitered. He becomes the alley runner. We adjust coverage, but again, the integrity of the defense, the triangle, is still set. We do what is called a triangle fit drill. Teams do fit with their linebackers all the time. We do fit with our triangle. We add a two back set in with a tight end. We add our strong safety or will. This side, we, in this case, this is our strong safety. This would be our will. There's our free safety alley runner. We set the barrels out. We're going to run flow, our flow package. We're running ISO flow. The fullback will block the imaginary Sam backer. The tight end will outblock on the, on the strong safety. Strong safety will work his shuffle technique. The free safety will bounce and hold and wait for the tailback because in a full flow, strong play, our free safety has no gap responsibility and our will will work on his run through. ISO, full flow ISO. This, this fullback is blocking an imaginary Sam backer. The mic should be over the top. The free safety literally has no gaps left once our will runs through. So he's bouncing and holding. And what this teaches is our free safety to leverage the ball carrier. Without linebackers, it teaches him to leverage who has the ball. In case there's a breakdown in the, in the system, he learns to leverage the ball carrier and stay on top of the ball. Again, the tight end is blocking the strong safety out. We got a will run through. Now, coaching point for the will. As he runs through, he is a bender. He's bending towards the tailback. Power strong. A power play without the pulling guard. 
All we're teaching is our strong safety to be the force player, our free safety to run the C-gap alley, and our will linebacker is now working his shuffle technique. Shuffle technique, backside A-gap responsibility to a fold. Now we add another element to the triangle fit. We add the balls as our front, so we're in a tight front. Seven technique to the tight end, three technique to the tight end. One five on the back side. Strong safety is reading off the tight end block. Will linebacker is reading off the block of the tackle, offensive tackle, free safety running the alley. This would be an ISO play. Fullback will come and block an imaginary backer. Mike should track over the top. Will should be in a run through. Strong safety should shuffle. There are no gaps left for the free safety. His job on an ISO is to bounce and leverage the tailback. Notice the bend by the Will linebacker. Will linebacker on a run through needs to bend. Again, free safety. There, there is no gap for him. All he's doing is leveraging. Leveraging the tailback. Notice the technique of the strong safety. A sprint shuffle. Playing his D gap. When the ball crosses the line of scrimmage, he could be in a fold position. ISO strong, block down, strong safety, shuffle to the D-gap, free safety, leverage the tailback, again fullback, blocking the imaginary Sam backer, no gap left for the free safety, he's the extra player, will linebacker, run through and bend off of the tackle block. With a strong left call, a Larry call, again, tight front. The balls represent the defensive line. We are a tight front defense. Puts the three technique to the tight end side. In this case, we have an inside shade seven technique defensive end. One five to the back side. Tight end. Offensive tackle. Will will read the offensive tackle block. Strong safety, reading the block of the tight end. We're running ISO to the strong side. Sam linebacker fitting off the fullback, squeezing to the mic. Will will be in a run through bend position. Free safety, extra player, no gap responsibility. Will leverage the tailback. Strong safety should be in a sprint shuffle. Perfect. Weak side ISO. There's the unblocked will. Free safety has no gaps. Notice the strong safety shuffle into his D gap. Free safety leveraging the tailback. No gap responsibility. All we're doing here are doing drills teaching our triangle how to fit in the run game without linebackers, without a D-line. Everybody has a D-line coach. Everybody has a linebacker coach. Most people don't have a triangle coach. Iso weak. Quick note, we're in a wide front. Notice with the balls, we're able to change our front. In this case, to the strong safety side, we change the front to a wide call. We're still a tight defense, putting the three technique to the tight end side, but now the defensive end is outside the tight end. Notice the adjustment and alignment by our strong safety. If the strong safety gets a base block by the tight end, he will now be in a run through bend position. We're gonna run ISO to the weak side, full flow away. He can run through here. Def uh, offensive tackle is going to outblock on the five technique. The will linebacker will be the unblocked player. The, the fullback will block the imaginary mic, and the free safety will leverage the ball. 
All gaps are canceled in the run game versus two back on any ISO free safety. The ninth man is the extra man in the box. Leverage the ball. Power strong. We have a tight front, meaning three technique, seven technique defensive end. We're either going to get a down block or an arc block by the tight end. Down block, we've got a force player. The free safety is going to run the alley. What we're going to do now with the backside offensive tackle is we're going to sift him. We're going to sift him up. Our wills know that our ends are benders. They're going to bend inside. This sift block will be a shuffle technique by the will to a stun. Then as the ball crosses the line of scrimmage, he will fold. Down block, force, free safety run in the alley. There's a stun taking place to a fold. Power strong, force, free safety alley fit on the back side. We go from a stun technique, shuffle stun, and would bend, ball crosses the line of scrimmage, fold. From a wide front, okay, we move the, the balls to a wide front. The defensive end is in a nine technique, three technique, with an out block. We teach our strong safety with the out block to fold back inside, gap exchange. He becomes an alley runner. Free safety is the other alley runner. Backside. With the down block, we fill that D gap. Tight, strong safety, free will. We got a down block, force, run in the alley. We're shuffling to a stun. And then we end up folding when the ball crosses the line of scrimmage. Now we got a power to the strong side versus a wide front, which would be a nine technique defensive end for us. Tight end is blocking base and out. The defensive end becomes the force player. The uh, strong safety would be running the alley. The free safety would be also running the alley, but with the Sam linebacker, he would become the extra player. He's leveraging the ball. We got a backside shuffle to a stun to a fold. Okay, now we have a tight front power. We're going to block down with the tight end. Strong safety becomes force. Free safety run in the alley, shuffle, stun to a fold with the wheel. This is a power strong, okay? We're still going to get a force by our strong safety, but notice, notice the free safety leveraging the ball. What we do here is we take the running back and we allow him on a power play to hit either the A-gap or bounce it to the outside, run the alley or bounce it to the outside. In this case, we got an out block by the, by the offensive tackle, so we're getting a run through based off of the track of the tailback by the will and notice the leverage of the ball by the free safety. The next phase of the progression of the drills is to add the corners and the linebackers. While we're doing triangle fit, the linebackers are overworking with doing fit based off a of two back. We add now, the corners are off working coverage. We add the corners and the linebackers and do the exact same drills with a tight end. In this case, we're in a wide front. Okay, the D-line is in a nine technique, three technique. We still add the offensive tackle and we run the exact same fits with the perimeter. Notice in this drill, the corners are off. We could be in man coverage, but they learn to track the tailback and we run a primary and secondary run support drill. This is an ISO strong. In this drill, our Sam is going to squeeze, our Mike is over the top. 
We're in a wide front, so both the strong safety and Will are in run-through positions. The free safety has no gaps. He is the extra player. He is taught to leverage the ball carrier. He tags off our corners. Drop and come and tag off. Primary and secondary run support, they will maintain this position till the whistle blows. And then they will reset. ISO weak. The weak side, we're in a tight front. Strong left. ISO weak, the mic is going to spill to the will linebacker. Spill to the unblocked will. The free safety has no gap responsibility left. He is the extra player, leverage the ball. Strong safety, sprint shuffle to your D-gap in case the tailback cuts back to you. You send the tailback on different tracks for every play to make sure corners are in secondary run support positions. Run the play, we wrap up, let them go, track with the free safety, track with the corners, primary and secondary run support. ISO weak again, Mike spills to the unblocked will, free safety, no gaps, tracks, strong safety. What I'd like to see the strong safety do here is as soon as the ball crosses the line of scrimmage, I would like to see him open to a fold technique and be pursuing the ball. We have a wide front, ISO weak, full flow away, strong safety's in a run through, Sam linebacker's in a run through. Spill to the unblocked will, free safety tracks, corners and secondary run support, blow the whistle. Power to the strong side off a tight front. Tight, we have an inside shade by a defensive end, we have a force player. Now we have our scrape and close linebacker, okay, and we have our free safety run in the alley. Notice the backside will, shuffle to a stun, he's in an angle of pursuit, when the ball crosses the line of scrimmage, both corner, will linebacker, in an angle of pursuit, tag off, blow the whistle. Power strong versus a wide front. Tight end is going to block out. We fit inside with the strong safety. Sam, scrape and close. Free safety, run the alley. We got a shuffle stun with the will. Notice the, the secondary run support people running to the ball, tagging off, coming to balance. If there's a toss play, toss to the tight end, we go reach block with the tight end. We got a force player. A scrape and close player, free safety running the alley, Mike running over the top again. We got a shuffle stun, backside fold, tag off. The only two people touching the outside hip will be the force player and the corner that's in secondary run support, everybody else touching the inside hip. Almost a pursuit drill, primary and secondary run support without the defensive line. The next progression, okay, we are a linebacker contained football team. We work a boot drill into the progression, okay, this is just our perimeter. We have twins out here, we're going to run the boot pass. Notice our linebacker, we have a rule that any time the quarterback leaves the tackle box, the linebacker to that side is going to trigger. He is going to trigger and become either our fifth rusher or in a 3-4 or 3-5, our fourth rusher to the quarterback. When the, line, uh, the quarterback leaves the tackle box, a linebacker will trigger and rush the quarterback and coverage will remain intact. Our 45 degree angle players are responsible for the wheel routes. They will drop to grass, doesn't matter. They are responsible for the wheel, and coverage is a whole nother presentation.
working coverage, 45 degree angle players working the wheel concept, triggering a linebacker to get the extra rusher on boot. Boot action, the backer triggers. In our robber system, the free safety has the tight end drag. The Sam linebacker would retreat and track underneath the drag route. Our wills are buzz responsibility to the flats, which turns them into wheel route coverage. And our linebacker will trigger onto the quarterback, which leaves a tackle box. Boot drill. Another progression to the drill process is when we see sprint out pass, okay? The concept remains the same. As soon as the quarterback leaves the tackle box, the linebacker to his side is going to trigger to the quarterback. We get the extra rusher. We lose coverage but gain a rusher. Sprint out, linebacker triggers, the overhangs are curled to flat defenders, we're in good shape. Sprint, linebacker trigger. Working the perimeter pass game, boot concepts, sprint out concepts. We've already done our run fits. Perimeter option drill. Once again, we have our triangle set. The force player would be pitch responsible. The alley runner would run quarterback to pitch. Linebackers working gap exchanges, responsible for the dive to the inside quarterback. And the key is the backside shuffle to a fold. Strong safety here gets an arc block to the pitch. Free safety running the alley. And the backside fold defender and the corners working off their stock blocks. We don't use a ball in any of these drills, especially the option drill. Every player, dive, quarterback to pitch is wrapped up. In the boot drill, don't use a ball, don't need it. Everybody wrapped up. I really believe this video has tremendous validity. Um, I didn't, uh, I came up with this concept of coaching the triangles about four or five years ago. It's really worked out well for our system. Linebacker coach does his thing. Defensive line coach coaches his position. Our secondary coach coaches their position. And I had to kind of create something for myself, so it just came at a whim. But I think the validity of the drills having the, the, the force players, the alley players, the full players being coached certain techniques has made us a better football team. A lot of questions I get is about practice time. When do you incorporate these drills into your practice? We have individual time obviously for our coaches and then we go into our group sessions. Normally if you had a 30 minute individual we'd cut that down to 15 and 15. 15 individual to 15 into some type of group. Uh, what I want you to realize is that we have a chart with all our drills on it and during camp we try to hit on these drills one or two times during camp and then during the season it becomes team specific based on the game plan of the team. I want to thank Coach's Choice again for this opportunity and I hope you picked up one or two things out of this video that will help you in your defensive system. Thank you.